races to fill in our second semi-final to meet the likes of Mousetrap. No pit squeaks left, that's the sure spawn of Scutterer there. Wild thing as well, can anyone control and beat that? And from the last heat, battling their way through, Exterminator 2 finally beating the seeded mighty bear mob. So let's have more purveyors of pumping, penetrating punishment! Ah. Please welcome the man with more enterprise than Captain Kirk, Craig Charles. You know, there's many unexplained phenomena in the world, like poltergeists. They're the ones who throw crockery across the room. In fact, I think I married one. Well, oh, there's the Bermuda Triangle, the only place you can wear big, brightly coloured shorts and not look like an idiot. But most bizarre of all is Robot Wars. Why do so many people tune in to watch six remote-controlled wheelie things senselessly bash each other out? Maybe because it's blooming good fun. So, who's explaining all this week? As usual, Craig, the seeds kept afar. Agrobot 2, number 20 against newcomers, Sawpoint and Oblivion, and a very good machine, number 4 seeds, Panic Attack against Smidzy, back again, as our overkill GTI. They're now with Jules in the pits. Oh, but she's not in her brightly coloured Bermuda shorts. What a shame. In the pits, we have three ferocious looking robots for the melee. Overkill, GTI, zooped up, two pneumatic flippers at the front there. It's ferocious, it's a wedge, it'll do what a wedge does, and it's bulletproof. Here we have another team. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. That's the name of the team. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. Uh, in leather, in keeping with the bikers. Now, they met on the internet, that's when they decided to build the robot. And uh, we have some gnashing, ferocious jaws at the front there, apparently. What's that made of? That's gas main. Um, we picked it when they're digging up the roads, they don't want to put pickaxes through the pipes. We figured they wouldn't put pickaxes through the side of the robot. Well, let's hope not. How fast does it go? Oh, well, yesterday we did 70 miles an hour. 70 miles? On the motorway. Get out of here. And the panic attack team. I don't think we really even need to introduce them. We know exactly who they are. The winners of the second wars. An awesome robot, but did go out to Firestorm in the third, so potentially a grudge match there, we think. Uh, possibly, yeah. Um, we'll have to sort that one out. Uh, our drive-in's a lot better now, so they can look out if we need them. Good! <laughs> well, let's get them through the melee first, and for one, the bell is tolling. Well, they've talked the talk, but can they walk the walk? Let the wars begin! From Umbra and scene number four, Panic Attack. Don't panic! This is a sturdy machine protected by bulletproof fiberglass and at 80.6 kilos, the heaviest in the heat, no blades or knives, but forks, electrically powered, can raise hopes. <laughs> Champions of the second series, but in the third wars, they beat Axios, Toe Cutter and Exterminator and look good until Firestorm beat them in the semis. Hello, we're Team Panic Attack. My name's Kim Davis, this is my son Michael, and this is Christian. And this is our robot panic attack. We're back from the previous wars with a new chassis. We have uh, skirts to stop other robots getting underneath. We have our self writing mechanism. We have our weapon, which is very powerful. We've done it before, and we're going to do it again. From Western Supermare, Overkill GTI Master. Goes into overdrive with the power from caravan winch motors, protected with the same insulation used in race drivers' overalls, so the same specs as power stations and space travel. Get into orbit in Series 3? No, they didn't even get past the first round. 101 were too destructive for overkill. Now they're GTI, can they go one step further? My name's Lawrence, this is Laurie, and this is James, and this is overkill. From the last wars, we had a weapon which was uh, a petrol chainsaw. This year, we have hydraulic pneumatic rams. Two of, which combined give seven and a half thousand newtons. This should be enough to throw another robot clean into the air. From Mason in Kent, Smithy. The name means, sorry mate, I didn't see you. The power from two motors, the wheels from go-karts, the jaw weapon is operated by a luxury car seat actuator, but in the last series they had radio signal problems. <laughs> that meant they went out to Rattus Rattus. Despite looking good, promising. It was the end for Smitty. Hi, I'm Mike from Team Ixian. This is 
Robin and Andy in his Smidsy. Upgraded from the last wall, we've got titanium side panels instead of aluminium. We've lowered the gearing so it will steer better. The jaw motor is powerful enough to lift another robot up while we're pushing along. We can run right way up or upside down. We've got spikes on the back to do extra damage. Called Smitsy. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. If you're a biker or a cyclist, you'll know exactly what that means. Roboteers, stand by. Overkill, GTI, Laurie Burke with fair hair and James Yule at the controls. Laurie's dad, Lawrence, watching on from the audience. Smidsy, the internet team there at the controls, Robin Bennett with the glasses and panic attack with Kim Davis. Very good driver and the two boys, Michael Davis, his son and Christian Bridge. Young Christian actually won a competition to take part in the Panic Attack team and nugs there on Overkill immediately from the front lifting force. We've seen them before in the wars. Now on the attack of over on Overkill again was uh, Smitsy and look at the damage caused here to the arena floor. A great shunt taken out. Please replace your divots, Overkill GTI. Trying to get back in favour with the judges on the attack on Panic Attack and also on Smitsy. Don't forget Smitsy can run upside down. Panic Attack wedging Overkill against the side spike now. That's a good attack by Panic Attack. As I said before, Kim Davis is one of the most respected drivers in the wars. Here he is, nudging Smidgey. Overkill still wedged on the arena wall. In comes Matilda. Overkill going nowhere at this moment in time. Lifted up by Panic Attack. Tremendously powerful, those forklifts. Overkill a little bit fortunate to get away. Still alive, Smitsy the meat in the sandwich there. And flicked over, that won't bother them. Overkill away from the flame pit, little lick of flame there, but uh, they're okay. Overkill, and don't forget, they are inflammable, they tell us. The motor's rewound with Teflon and Nomex insulation. Overkill trying to use its Shremek on the arena sidewall to get away. I'm not too sure if they can for all the insulation. They're stuck, aren't they? Panic attack, a little nudge. Down comes Overkill. We bit fortunate to get away there from the controls. The bearded Mike Reed looking out. This is Overkill onto the arena wall and dead metal coming in. And the saw, the circular saw blade comes down now onto Overkill GTI. Panic carbon and steel body at the moment withstanding that pressure. Smitsy pushes away. Panic attack or panic attack, but they simply reverse him to come in with another slam on Smitty. Panic attack doing all the aggressive work here. If you had to pick the most troubled robot of these three, I'd go for Overkill. They're being pushed against the arena wall right now, down towards the CPZ, the corner patrol zone. Don't forget that's where the house robots live. You go in there, they can attack you. And that's Killalot nearly attacking Smitty again. Overkill is one of those tyres been punctured. They seem rather long. Side, get into the hard shoulder, boys. Call out one of the rescue services. I think you're going to need them. Panic attack. A bit of a tug of war with Smitsy. They've been impressive so far with Robin Bennett, a computer con controller, computer programmer at those controls. Now this is panic attack. Just away from Sergeant Bash. Away from the arena wall. And that's the first time we've seen the uh, Smitsy jaws operated. And it goes to the judges. Very close for all three teams. There they are, they'll deliberate. And we'll count up the marks for style, control, damage and aggression. What clues have you got? Well, that's Overkill being slammed against Arena Wall. Smidgey using the jaws very late on. Let me close, isn't it? Well, the judgment's in and it's over and out for Overkill. <laughs> to a pretty worthy opponent, oh, you know. Oh, certainly did. The winner of the second wars. Yeah, very good team. Yeah, we couldn't lose one in there. Oh, no, it's still I, quite gutting, though, isn't it? Well, there you go. The Kim's great guy, and, you know, both good teams. But lovely kids. Are you gutted? Marginally gutted, yeah. I was hoping for better, but, you know, they were a good team, good robot, you know. And any changes for next wars? Um, I haven't really talked about it yet. Well, I think you should be. You haven't got long. But These things take years to build. But it still works. <laughs> I mean, it didn't last year. Oh, well, you've been a great team. We've enjoyed having you here. See you next wars. Thanks.